we're going to create our first uh, page in the Trident Tennis Center. So the first thing we have to do is go to the internet and download our zip file. So I'm going to right mouse click on this and I'm going to say save target as. Now if I'm using Chrome it will say save file as or Firefox. So I'm doing save target because I'm using Internet Explorer here. And then I'm going to go into the folder I want to put it in and I'm just going to keep it as uh, try and tennis zip. Make sure it's in the root directory so you can go find it again. I, I recommend not burying it down deep into a bunch of folders. Just keep it in the root directory, then you'll have less uh, problem finding it later. Then we'll save it. Okay, now it's all downloaded. I'll go to uh, Windows Explorer. And there is, and I will refresh the screen. And there is my Trident Tennis right here. And all I have to do is double click on it. And then up here I can extract all files. So I'll click on this. It'll say where you want to put it. And I want to put it in the folder in my root directory. So I'll just leave that the way it is. And you can uncheck this box here. And then extract. Okay, now they're all done. So I can go ahead and close this. I have opened up HTML kit. I will go back to Windows Explorer. There is my Trident Tennis folder. and This is what we're going to use actually as the root directory for our website. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that. Oops. Oh, that's not good. <coughs> Alright, then I'm going to open up that. I wanted to ha actually have that as the root directory, but I made another folder. Alright, so the next what we're going to do is open up um, TridentContent.txt, and here is our, cod, our uh, content. And you can see that they're numbered in pages 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So these are the pages that we're going to be creating. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and uh, start copying and pasting. So this is our title. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to open up my HTML kit, and I'm going to paste it in. I can check it real quick in preview, and there's my title. So I didn't break anything yet. All right, the next thing I want to do is go into the head, and I want to create the look and feel for the website. And of course, we're going to do that with a style. So I'm going to type some style in, and immediately I'm going to do my close style because if I don't, then I never see anything on my web page. So. I open and close those tags, and the only, what we're going to do is change the body. And we do that by adding a brace. And then immediately, I'll do two down, or three down, and then close the brace. Alright, so in here is going to do it to say how our web page, website looks. Uh, we want to change three properties. Uh, that is the left to right margin, and also the body color. Uh, if you go into the style tag, you can go in here and see what the CSS styles are. Uh, don't select them from here because these are inline styles and it's going to do style equals, so you don't want to do that. So uh, we want to do background color. We want to do margin left and margin right. And we can just type that, but if you're not sure what it is, you can always go into the list and see. All right, so. I'm going to type background dash color and then a colon and then I'm going to tell it what I want to use. I'm going to use tan. Uh, we can use the hex code values if we want but uh, don't want to do that. Alright, then we want to do margin dash right and we're going to make that 10% just to move it off the side of the page and then semicolon and then margin and then left oops, all lowercase colon and then 10 percent and then semicolon to say we're done and I press another delete to move that up so we have start style, close style Body tag is what we want to do, and anything in the braces is the attribute of the body we want to change. So we're going to do white, 
uh, that's the default value and change it to tan the margin right from 0% to 10% and then the left from uh, to 0% also. Okay, let's go into body then and we'll add some content and then we'll go ahead and uh, test it. If we go back to the notepad file, the next thing we have is this sentence right here with a heading 1. So I'll copy that. I'll go back to my HTML kit and I'll paste it in. And now all I have to do is change this to an H1 tag and change this to a closed H1 tag. And now we can go test it to see if what we've done works. I hit the preview button and there you go. It's tan. It's 10% off and looks good. H1. Alright, so now we have to go back and find some more content. I'm going to press enter and I'm going to go back to the notepad style, um, the notepad page and I'm going to copy the rest. So I'm going to copy this all the way down. And you, I could have copied it all the way down in the beginning. I just want to show you one line at a time. I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to go back to HTML kit. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it in. All right. I'm going to make another space. Now notice these lines go all the way out. And that's OK. Uh, actually it actually makes it easier for us to edit the page. We don't have to have a bunch of look paragraph like we know what the content says so we don't have need that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start each paragraph right here and then I'm gonna hold and I'm gonna select the paragraph tag point at the paragraph tag hold down the control key and we use my left mouse button drag it down and that copies and pastes it and then I'm gonna drag it here and then I'm gonna drag it here. Alright so the only thing I need is closed uh, paragraph tags. I'm just going to do them right underneath slash P. I'm going to then hold down my control key, drag it here, drag it here, drag it here. Okay, and I'll see what it looks like now. Nice. So we got some some paragraphs going on. Now we have to do this last part here. And what we want to do with this one is we want to use the block quote. Block quote. So we're going to do block quote, and then we're going to end it down here with a close block quote. All right, then we can check to see what we've done. You can see this is indented now from the rest of the uh, material, uh, but it isn't done not formatted like we wanted. So we're going to go back to the editor, and what we really wanted to do is have each of these on its own separate line. So what we're going to do is at the end of each one, we're going to put a br slash and then <coughs> copy this. I'm just going to use control C and paste it to the end of each of the lines. Copy and paste to your friends. So you don't want to do it. The more you type, the more errors you put in. So I'm going to preview it now and see how nice it looks now. Excellent. So we have created our first page and looking pretty good. So we're ready to go ahead and go on to our next page and create that.